Welcome to Astro Tina. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Taurus horoscope for September 2024, a month of growth and reflection. So first we'll begin with a general overview and then I will move into critical dates, theme of the month. So September 2024 brings a month of progress, reflection, and opportunity for Taurus natives. You're likely to see the rewards of your hard work. So your dedication begins to pay off in both personal and professional areas. However, it's essential to maintain humility and avoid overconfidence as the Sun and Saturn are in opposition during the first half of the month, which can lead to challenges if you're not careful. Your professional life will be characterized by relentless effort and determination. Even though others may not immediately recognize your hard work, Rest assured that your persistence will eventually bear fruit. For those in business, the presence of Jupiter and the favorable positioning of Mars promises positive growth and new opportunities. In your personal life, love relationships will be tested. There will be moments of tension, but with effort and understanding, you can navigate these challenges and strengthen your bond. Marital relationships, on the other hand, will see a deepening of connection and comfort. Family life may present some hurdles, but the support of siblings and friends, you will find the strength to overcome them. Financially, this month is likely to be rewarding, with an increase in income and controlling spending. So, however, health requires vigilance, as the planetary positions adjust potential issues. Now moving on to career. This month is pivotal for your career. Saturn, the ruler of your 10th house, remains retrograde in the 10th house, signaling a period of intense work. You may feel overwhelmed by the workload, as if you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. Despite this, it's crucial to stay patient and committed, as your efforts will not go unnoticed forever. The recognition and success you're working towards will come, even if gradually. The first half of the month may bring feelings of uncertainty, especially if you're considering a job change. Venus's position in the fifth house with Ketu might cause you to doubt your decisions. However, as Venus transitions into its own sign in the sixth house on September 18, stability and positive developments will start to manifest in your professional life. This period will be particularly beneficial for those in business. Jupiter's influence on your 7th house will enhance your strategic thinking, allowing you to over-maneuver your competitors and advance your business. Now, Mars is sitting in your 2nd house. That urges caution in communication. Your words will carry weight, so it's important to speak carefully, especially in professional settings. If you can manage this, the month promises significant progress in both your career and your business endeavors. Now moving on to finance. Financially, September looks promising for Taurus. Rahu's presence in your 11th house throughout the month suggests steady income, while Venus's aspect on the same house at the beginning of the month indicates a resolution of financial issues and a noticeable increase in earnings. The combination of Jupiter in your first house and Mars in your second house will further strengthen your financial situation. So this month, there may be opportunities for financial gain from international connections or business dealings abroad. If you work in a multinational company or have overseas ties, expect these to bring substantial rewards. Short trips, especially those related to business, could also be financially beneficial. The latter half of the month with Sun and Mercury influencing your 11th house could see a significant rise in your income. Venus moving into your 6th house from September 18th may prompt some spending on luxuries, but overall you will manage to keep expenses under control. This month is favorable for investments, especially in business, but exercise caution if considering the stock market investments. Now regarding your health, health is an area that requires careful attention this month. Planetary positions suggest potential issues, particularly related to stomach and digestive system. Venus and Ketu in your fifth house at the start of the month, coupled with the influence of Mars and Jupiter, indicate a higher risk of gastrointestinal problems. So the Sun and Mercury enter your fifth house later in the month. These issues might persist or even intensify. It's crucial to maintain a healthy diet and avoid foods that could exacerbate these problems. Regular hydration and mindful eating habits will be key to staying healthy. You can manage your diet and avoid indulgence. 
you can prevent potential health complications. Now regarding love, marriage, and personal relations. In matters of the heart, September will be a mixed bag for Taurus individuals. If you're in a romantic relationship, expect some ups and downs. Venus in the fifth house, influenced by Mars, will bring passion, but also potential conflicts. The presence of Rahu and Ketu add a layer of unpredictability, which could lead to misunderstandings and tension. However, as the Sun and Mercury move into your fifth house later in the month, the situation should improve. While there may be some challenges, these planetary shifts will help you to manage your relationship more effectively. Patience and understanding will be the key. Now, small gestures of love and appreciation will go a long way to strengthen your bond. For those who are married, the influence of Jupiter on your seventh house throughout the month abodes well for marital harmony. There will be deep sense of connection and mutual support between you and your spouse. Mars in the second house, however, suggests that your partner might get involved in family matters, which could cause some friction. It's important to handle these situations with care and avoid unnecessary arguments. Jupiter's calming influence will help you maintain peace and strengthen your marital relationship. Now moving on to family and friends. Family life in September may be somewhat challenging for Taurus natives. Mars in your second house could lead to harsh words or misunderstandings, especially with close family members. It's essential to watch your tone and be mindful of how you communicate. A gentle approach can help you avoid unnecessary conflicts and maintain harmony within the family. At the start of the month, Mercury in your third house indicates strong support from your siblings. You may find yourself relying on them more than usual, both emotionally and financially. Their assistance will be invaluable, and your relationship with them will grow stronger as a result. As Mercury moves into Leo on September 4th, you will receive joy and support from your siblings, and they may even help you to enhance your family's wealth. By the end of the month, when Mercury enters Virgo and Venus moves into the sixth house, you might reconnect with close friends, bringing additional support and happiness into your life. However, parental health could be of concern, particularly at the beginning of the month. The sun's presence in your fourth house, along with the aspect of retrograde Saturn, suggests that your parents might face health challenges. So the theme of the month is happiness at home, love affair, progress of your children. Make your decisions carefully in family matters, and you might have family get-togethers. Crucial dates for September would be the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. This is where you want to keep your decisions pending, okay? Because if you do make any decisions, you're, you will come back to regret it. Um, and this is where you can make wrong decisions. In these days, the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, there's an increase in your expense. You could spend money on luxury items, anything for female type items. Um, this is where you could actually get used by a female as well. And you could spend money on this female. You could also spend money on a vehicle, vehicle repairs, things of that sort. And this is also days where you could uh, do work and somebody else takes the credit for your work. And during these three days, you could also have feelings of loneliness. Now, moving on to the 5th, 6th, and 7th, after 4 o'clock p.m., this is where you're going to revise yourself. You're going to reflect on yourself. This is also a very romantic time. So you do look back on the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th and look back on your decision. Um, now, on the 7th, 8th, and 9th, after 4 p.m., these are your financially best days of the month, okay? Financially, this is where you will have cash in your hand, you'll have money in your pocket, and if you need to ask for money from anybody or somebody owes you money, these are good days to ask for your money back. Um, on the 10th, 11th, and 12th, this is where you'll see your uh, relationship with your uh, siblings improve. You could also take a short trip. These are good days for you, so the 10th, 11th, and 12th. On the 13th, 14th, and 15th, this is where you can improve relationships with your mother. You could do something at home, which you enjoy. Um, and you'll see that um, the mother of uh, the Taurus native usually doesn't get along with the spouse of the Taurus. The mother's presence in their marriage is usually a negative aspect for the Taurus individual. So now moving on to the 16th and 17th, this is where you should give time to people that you love, your, your uh, love interest, your children. This is time for you to enjoy yourself. On the 18th, 19th, and 20th, this is where you need to be careful of your health. Court cases, if you have any, 
Um, you might have issues, legal issues from September 18th to October 12th. Uh, you could um, either be facing uh, debt or you can get into an argument with somebody. Um, this is where, you know, these days are, are heavy, 18, 19, and 20th. So just be mindful these days. Be a little bit more cautious. If you bring plants into your house, especially if plants that flower, these, uh, whenever you'll see that those plants flower, they actually bloom, they will actually bring you good luck. That's for Taurus individuals. Now on the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, this is the best time in your marriage. You will also get public recognition. On the 24th, 25th, and 26th, these are stressful days. Um, there could be a um, situation with your spouse's family. Um, and they could also help you in some way. So these, it's a good thing. Okay, so the situation with their family is actually good. Uh, they can help you out with money, some situation. If you're asking for money, they can lend you money. But you will have loneliness feelings. You won't feel as, you know, good and you won't feel as positive. And if you're driving on these days, the 24th, 25th, and 26th, these are days where you want to practice caution. Okay, uh, be careful with your vehicle. Uh, the 27th, 28th, these are positive days. They're good days. The 29th and the 30th, these are great days for your job, your career. If you're asking for a raise, you're looking to do tasks at work, you'll do them well. So they're very positive days. So if you've enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to press that bell notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.